Here is a cross section at the base of the heart in this particular patient, but evaluating the entire cross section of the chest. This is displayed in what is called lung windows, which sets the window and level settings such that we can visualize the pulmonary vessels to a maximum benefit. As we move down the tomographic images, we notice that there is a right upper lobe soft tissue mass of a particular size which is singular in character. Its overall density is very similar to standard soft tissue and measures approximately 17 by 21 millimeters. Subsequent review of the cardiac CT showed non-obstructive coronary disease but referral of the patient because of the abnormality in the chest ultimately produced the diagnosis of stage 1 primary bronchogenic carcinoma with negative lymph nodes and no evidence for distant metastases. A primary lobectomy was performed and the patient was considered an operative cure. Here's another example of non-cardiac findings in a standard cardiac CT examination. This is a limited field of view but a high resolution CTA demonstrating again information at the base of the heart slightly above the takeoff of the coronary arteries. The aortic root is well opacified and uh, behind that somewhat to uh, the left side is the normal size thoracic aorta. As you look at this examination do you see any particular areas of concern. In particular, what about these two faint opacifications? These turn out to be enlarged paratracheal lymph nodes approximately a centimeter in size. This is about twice the upper limits of normal for uh, otherwise unremarkable paratracheal lymph nodes. If we take that same level but expand the field of view to include the entire chest, you can also see that there are some abnormalities uh, in the peripheral pleural surfaces which are of some concern. But slightly above this area, more cephalad, you can see a clear soft tissue mass which was ultimately discovered to be a metastatic lung cancer. Most findings though on cardiac CT are what we call nuisance diagnoses, that is mild abnormalities that likely do not represent any significant pathology but may or may not require follow-up. The most common incidental finding in chest CT is a non-calcified lung nodule. Now in order to review that image you must take the standard image used to evaluate the heart and view in lung windows. This sets the window and level settings such that we have maximum identification of the pulmonary parenchyma. As we move down in this particular area you notice in the upper right area a nodule. It measures approximately 4.8 millimeters in size. This is the only nodule found and otherwise the chest examination is unremarkable. What do we do with these nodules? There are well published guidelines primarily from the Fleischner Society for disposition of pulmonary nodules. These are divided into characteristics of overall size less than 4 millimeters up to greater than 8 millimeters and also risk. A low risk patient would have minimal or absent history of smoking and no other known risk factors for lung carcinoma. A high risk patient would be one who has a history of recent or significant smoking and or any other risk factors for lung carcinoma. So if we had an individual with a 3 millimeter nodule 
who had no evidence of any risk for lung cancer, no follow-up would be needed, where if that patient were a high-risk individual, follow-up would be suggested in 12 months. The larger the nodule, the more closer the follow-up. Once it gets greater than 8 millimeters, follow-up is suggested to be much more frequently, and some abdicate a dynamic contrast enhanced CT to look at the nodules, a PET scan, and in some cases, a biopsy.